In this lecture, we will study different types of conductor and insulation types of cable. After going through this slide, you will come to know the properties of conductor and their application in the related field. Before going in detail, let us understand the meaning of conductor. Electrical conductor is a metal or material which allows electricity to pass or it transmits electricity. You can see some enlisted conducting material which is used for making conductors which is used to pass electricity or current. Some common conductors are silver, copper, gold, aluminium and tungsten. Here we have ranked silver as the best conducting metal followed by copper and other metals. Let us see the properties of each conductor. Silver is the best conducting material however it is used very less because of its high cost and it is a precious metal. Another conductor most widely used is copper which is used in many wiring application. They have reasonable cost and are flexible, flexible enough to make and run into wires. They have good properties and less resistance to flow of current. Depending upon load, copper conductor insulation can be PVC, neoprene, ethylene, propylene, polypropylene filler or cotton. Automotive wire and cable require insulation that is resistant to elevated temperature, petroleum products, humidity, fire and chemicals. PVC, neoprene and polyethylene are the most common insulators. Gold has good conducting properties. It is very precious metal and is expensive. Though it has good conducting properties but are used very less because of its high cost. Gold does not corrode when it comes in contact with water or moisture. Most commonly used conductor is aluminium. These metals are available at large quantity thus it has reasonable cost. These metals are flexible and easily drawn into wires. They have light weight. There is corrosion problem with this metal as it reacts with other metal. Aluminium conductor cable are used for overhead high voltage cables. The lower strength of aluminium is that the conductor cable need to be reinforced with a steel core. Copper and aluminium can be separated from one another magnetically when scrapped. Copper is widely used metal but is heavier than aluminium. Let us look at the precaution used while using aluminium conductor cable. The two problem are that aluminium wire expands and contract with the change in temperature. With many cycle of expansion and contraction, the aluminium wire flattens out and can become loose under ordinary screw head. The second problem is that skin of wire can oxidize and thus reduces its electrical conductivity. Tungsten is the hard steel grey metal that is often brittle and hard to work. If uses pure metal it retains its hardness and become malleable enough that it can be worked easily. Tungsten is a rare metal and is used to make light bulb filaments. Tin coated wire is another conductor used in cable and wires mainly for communication cable and applications. Aluminium and copper conductor are typically plated with silver or tin. Moving on further, let us study sizes of wire that are available for use in many applications. Wire size is ex expressed by number from American wire gauge system. The larger the wire size, the smaller will be the American wire gauge number. You can see the chart which explains the size of conductor with their capacity and uses. While selecting size of conductor cable, following criteria has to be performed as depends upon load, voltage drop, length of circuit, current and voltage of the circuit. You can refer following for the identification of wire. In this section you can see different cable of different colors such as white, blue, green or etc. These colors have been standardized for particular function performed on conductor such as for carrying current, neutral or ground. 
what does insulation means insulation is a non conductive material or a material resistant to the flow of electric current it is often called as dielectric in the radio frequency cable insulation resists electrical leakage prevents the wires current from coming into contact with other conductors and preserve the material integrity of the wire by protecting against environmental threats such as water and heat what are the types of insulation there are many types of insulation some of them are enlisted below pvc is a relatively inexpensive and easy to use material with the potential to be used in diverse applications polypropylene is very similar to polyethylene but it has a wider temperature range of minus 30 degree to 80 degree celsius it is used primarily for thin wire insulations thermoplastic rubber is used in many application it is basically used to replace true thermoset rubber it has improved color colorability higher processing speed and a wide usable temperature range rubber insulation generally refer to both natural rubber and synthetic butadiene compounds each are available in a variety of formulas for use in a wide range of applications thermoplastic elastomers consist of a mix of polymers typically a plastic and a rubber it is to combine the benefit of each material into one insulating product in next section let us study what is electrical cables a group of two or more wires enclosed in a metal rubber or plastic sheet is called as a cable the sheet protect the wire from damage which also an insulation which described before electrical cable is an assembly consisting of one or more conductor with their own insulation and optional screens it also contain individual covering and assembly protection and protective co coverings electrical cables may be made of more flexibility by stranding the wires in this process smaller individual wires are twisted or braided together to produce larger wire than are more flexible than the solid wire of the similar size thank you and see you in the next session